Today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to run U trips or Y off trips pats in Madden 25. I'm going to be doing this breakdown out of the uh, New England Patriots offensive playbook. If you guys want to check out my full uh, full uh, offensive ebooks and all that stuff, that's all going to be available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. And we're going to get into the Patriots U trips. Now, a lot of people like. Uh, U-trips because it's probably the only offense in this year's game that you can basically run as kind of a standalone, uh, kind of to a degree like a standalone type formation. And so that's one of the reasons why, you know, I really enjoy this formation as well because I personally like to stay in one formation all game as much as I can. So, again, we're going to be in U-trips or Y-off trips pats. And for this offense here, the audibles that I like to set are curl flat, Y option wheel, slot out, and Y out. And then we're going to be consistently coming out in the play, uh, tight end whip. And there's just a lot of really unique routes in U-trips that you don't have in other formations, one of which being these sharp cutting post routes, which in my opinion are probably one of the best ways to be able to beat me in coverage in this year's game. So I want to start out with my favorite play and also one rule. The main... <clears throat> excuse me, the main rule for U-trips is that you want to run this with your trips to the wide side of the field. So if the ball is on the left hash, as you see here on the left hash mark, we want to run this with our trips to the right. But if the ball was over here on the right hash mark, we would not want to run our trips here because you see how compressed it is. What we would want to do is at our play call screen, we would want to flip our formation. And then what you're going to see here is that when we do that, our alignment is going to be kind of what we want, all right? So for the remainder of this video, I'm going to run everything on the left hash, but just in general, do note that you're going to be flipping the formation to the wide side of the field consistently in this offense. Now, we're going to be showing a lot of different combos out of this. There's so many things you can do with U-trips. And one of the most important things about U-trips is the spacing that it allows. It makes it difficult for switch sticking, and there's just a lot of value in this formation. So the first play that I want to show you is this play, tight end whip. This is my favorite uh, play in the formation because it has a stock, stock whip route to the tight end. It has two sharp cutting post routes, and then you can kind of create around this. So what I like to do as far as my first setup is we're going to flat this solo receiver and put the running back on a streak. This is a little two-man game that we can run to attack the defense horizontally, and then I also like to flat my uh, slot. So we have a flat zig combo on the right, and we have a flat street combo on the left. So these yellow zones are really going to get stressed within this, and a lot of times we're going to hit this tight end. This tight end route is typically going to have to be usered. It's just very difficult to defend this tight end route. I'll show you something that they will do um, on that right side, but I just want to show you again. Like This is a shaded down hook curl. doesn't really matter. You see I'm able just to consistently throw that again and again and again. And then if they're not shading, like let's just say you're just playing like stock cover four, stock cover three, then you're going to see here, it's going to basically be the same result. That hook curl shoots out. I don't know why this happens in trips formations this year, but the hook curl basically almost plays like a curl flat defender. And then the, the other thing that I want to show you is let's say that they like shade down and outside. So this is going to try to get that hook curl to carry that whip a little bit more. Down and outside shade doesn't really change anything. As you see, I'm able to throw this consistently. Now, the one thing that they can do, and I'll show this, this is kind of a little bit of an advanced adjustment, but I will show kind of what you can do here, is you can put your hook curls on five, and when you do that, you really have one of two coverages that you can try to, try to use. The first one is going to be just the same thing. It's that shaded down outside. It could be a cover three. Um, you know, it could be a cover four, but in general, now, if they do that, let's just take a look at this here. You're going to see that it's going to stay lower, but it still doesn't it still doesn't really play the route. So the best thing that they can do is utilize a cover two coverage with a vertical hook. So you see we have a vertical hook on that side, and we have a mid read on the middle. So this is going to help kind of create a bracket on that receiver. And you're going to see here that this plays really, really well. The problem and this is why it's a read here, guys, is if you see that slot, slot corner do that, you want to pop this out to the flat. And the reason why is because they're normally not going to have a hard flat defender over there. So you see that soft squat carries that post. 
you can just throw this quick flat to the outside. So as you kind of think through what they're ultimately going to have to do defensively, they're going to have to be in some type of cover two. Well, cover two is very easy to manipulate in a trips formation. All we're going to do here is we can go to pretty much any play in this formation, but we're just going to put the outside receiver on a fade. We're going to flat this slot, and we're going to streak our tight end. And then on this back side here, really can do a lot of different things. I think the easiest thing would be to just a simple – you know, streak post combo or even just a blocking the running back. Take a look at this fade on the outside here in U-Trips. You'll see. Look how, and also that soft squat carries a lot farther than I thought he did. You can also just throw the, you can also just throw the, um, the flat route as well. But basically, you'll see here, a lot of times this will get on top and you can just throw this over the top. Okay. So if they're doing five yard, five yard zone drops like that, you can easily attack. You can easily attack the um, the deep sideline. One other thing I wanted to show you about a five yard hook curl, and then we'll go back to default zones. Is I want to show you this post. So, if they are running like a, a true cover two, typically what they're going to do is they're going to roll the coverage. So it would look something like this, and then normally in Dolly you're going to get like a send four, right? So they might blitz this guy. You know, and for our purposes, we're just going to spy him just because I don't want the practice mode sheds to go crazy. But what I want to show you here is when we run this combo, it really opens up the middle, and this sharp cutting post gets into a really nice spot on the field against that defense. So you also have that within this play that I think makes it, you know, a really, really good option for you. And it kind of really, again, notice just – it's always important whenever you're whenever you're calling a game and looking at your plays to understand what they have to do to actually defend what it is you want to do. What do they have to do to defend what it is you want to do? That's super important. So we saw that the soft squat can carry uh, zones significantly farther if it's if it's not a match soft squat. If it is a match soft squat, like right here you're going to see that this soft squat will bite a lot faster, and this throws a lot more open on that right sideline. Another combo that I really like um, in, light of, in light of needing the capability to bomb uh, cover two is this play tight end out. And the reason I like this play, if I can find it here, let's see, tight end out, tight end deep out. The reason I like this play is because it has a stock fade um, this is specifically for cover two. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm getting a lot of cover two on that right sideline, I'll run something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tight end on a post. I'm going to stem it up two times. So it's like a, it's like a seam streak and then it posts, basically. I'm going to drag the solo receiver like this, and then I'm going to block my running back. This is a bomb play. It's a situational play, and it's, again, specifically for these cover two style defenses. You'll see here that this fade – if I can throw it a little bit better, um, this fade is really good against cover two on that sideline. So you'll see here. See, I can just throw this to the right, catch it, rack catch it. And a lot of times this can manipulate cover two that direction as well. So this is one of my favorite ways to um, kind of manipulate cover two. And again, I said one of the things that's very popular is they'll roll a coverage. So what they might do is they might switch stick onto the half or they might try to basically protect the bomb. So if they cover the bomb, what I'm going to typically have, though, is this tight end post. You'll see here. I might need to, st I might need to stem him up one more tick. But you'll have that tight end post. You'll also have your uh, drag route late, which is another one of my favorite things about U-Trips. It's just the, um, again, just the spacing of the field. And like I said, we'll take a look at this tight end post. One, two. You can also use a corner route on this solo, like a stem down corner, and then like a running back in route. You can do this as well. But you'll see here, once he crosses the face, you can kind of throw it in between the safety and the corner. Okay, So that's something that I like to have. So what we want to try to do as much as we can is we want to try to force them into just basic cover four drop, basic cover three, um, because cover two is probably one of the more 
effective coverages against this formation, um, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. So another way that I'll manipulate cover two is again, we're just trying to really take advantage of these soft squats because we want to force them to have to basically not have a soft squat. So what I'll do out of, it doesn't have to be out of tight end whip. I'll do it out of Y option wheel because it's already kind of set up. We'll just corner the tight end and this is a quick snap play. And against that cover two sink, now you got that fade and then you also have kind of this tight end. So it's a little bit of a safer throw, but it's still kind of against to that same, um, kind of that same area on the field. So again, just Y option wheel, all we're doing is we're just quick hiking. And then if they shade, if they run like a basic cover four or cover three, you're pretty much always gonna have this tight end corner anyway. And then if they switch stick onto that, you have the flat on that right side. So now I wanna go over, again, just the five yard hook curl stuff because I do think you're going to see that a lot if you run U-trips. So if they do run that like five yard hook curl and they're trying to basically, uh, you know, play defense in that direction with you, what I'm going to tell you here is it's, it's again, it's very simple, but it's very effective. So I'm going to go to watch and wheel. I'm going to corner out the tight end. Now they're going to be in that cover too, but they have that soft squat out there. So that carries the streak a lot longer than it normally does. Watch the soft squat here. You're going to see, look how deep it gets. We can just throw this flat. I know super simple, nothing really too crazy about this, but this is something that you need to have in your offense if they are running consistently, if they're running this, this cover two stuff, because you just quick throw this flat out here, get your five, seven yards, not a big deal whatsoever. Another thing that I'll do, uh, if I'm getting a lot of cover two, especially on that right sideline, is I will utilize kind of a um, does really whatever play you want uh, I'll utilize this like curl flat play and basically what we're gonna do here is we have a tight end out route we're gonna slant this outside receiver and motion him across and then we're gonna streak this receiver and block our running backs see this is what it looks like the beauty of this is again look how deep that zone gets now it doesn't get so deep because it doesn't have a streak to run it off so that's another thing that you can do um, just to manipulate the soft squats I do think it's really important to be able to manipulate those specific coverages just because you'll, you'll see this, you'll see this um, a lot. Okay, so again, another way to manipulate kind of those, those zones is to utilize this whip, but maybe utilize like a post route here. And so watch, watch the soft squat, or, oh, sorry, I didn't audible to cover two. But basically what, you're tr what I'm trying to show you is if they do run the soft squats and they do have zone drops on there, that soft squat will drop back super far. So what you can do is stuff like this whip. You'll see if I just wait on this, it gets open. That soft squat has to rally. He's not going to do that good of a job of doing that. Another thing that I like to do, um, let's go out of like slot out, for example. Again, the soft squat's going to carry stuff for a really long time. You can really do whatever with this guy. But the basic idea is just have a streak and then a drag. And against the soft squats, watch the soft squats just drop, drop off. So you can throw this over here. Okay. So those are some ways uh, that I like to manipulate soft squats. It's not the only way, but it, it essentially just high lowing that, that high lowing that corner a lot is something that's really good in this game. Another play that I wanted to cover uh, that we really don't have on the audibles but is a really good play is stutter curl seam. The reason this play is really good is because it has a stock short crossing route to the tight end, and then it has kind of a unique out route to the running back. So what I like to do is just streak the solo wide receiver, and then you can kind of just call this play. I want to show you what this route looks like. Look how fast that tight end crosser gets across the field and gets into that position it makes it really good against both man and zone coverage. So if you want to have something in your play playbook here, and you can do the stemmed curl if you're using, if you're facing press man, you know, you can just do the stemmed curl route, but just watch this tight end cross. It just cuts super sharp and it gets into a really nice spot of the field. You don't have that route anymore in your arsenal as of right now. So being able to utilize that I think is helpful. And it just really does a good job of, of putting cover three in a lot of conflict um, offensively, right? And again, you just streak this guy if you want to have, you know, really whatever you want to do on this on this right side. One of my favorite things is a flat and a comeback. And the reason why is because we get so much cover two in this offense. 
and take a look here at that comeback route. Really, really nice spot of the field. Another thing that you can do in U-trips is you can throw speed outs. So speed outs are, you can do this out of really any play, but have a streak, have a speed out out here. If they're not, if they're playing cover three or cover four, the speed outs are really good. If they're playing cover two, speed outs are not as good. But you'll see here, whoops, I need to shade down too. And again, if they're not shading down in U-trips, I mean, your check downs are just, they're always going to be available to you. But you see how I can just throw this to the sideline pretty consistently. So these are some of my favorite plays uh, from U-trips. Let's see if I have any others that I want to go over. Oh, yeah, I forgot I did want to cover this one. Uh, option wheel is really good because you have this running back wheel route and this post. So you have this, this setup right here, which is really effective. You just quick hike it and go. Uh, this is really good against man. It's really good against zone. Of course, I throw right at a linebacker. Should have waited a second. If they do run man coverage on you, you want to be in something like a Y option wheel because these, these sharp cutting posts are the best, in my opinion, they're the best man beating route in the game next to auto motion. One of the other things you want to be doing if you have U-trips is you want to be using auto motion. So one of my favorite setups is out of Y option wheel. And basically we're just going to flat the slot receiver. We're going to streak our tight end and then we're going to drag this outside. So see, it looks like this. It's just a simple high low read in the middle of the field. Um, but you see, look at the bumping that occurs. That wheel route can beat man coverage. Kind of super effective against man. And then you also have really nice spacing against uh, any kind of zone coverage. Another thing about this combination here is oftentimes the post can kind of get into a really nice spot against cover two. And that was a cover two right there. And you just see how it's really hard for cover two to be able to consistently defend this. Another one of my favorite plays, a super simple one, but this is curl flat. And the reason I like this play is um, primarily just for this corner route on the right side. Of course, he, I snapped him just a little bit too early. But this is for like cover three, cover four on that side. I'll show you one other really cool thing you can do with U-trips that you really can't do in a lot of formations. But if I get cur curl flat, we'll just streak this guy. You can also just stem him up. But watch this. You just high-low this flat defender, and then it's kind of hard to switch stick that again because just the spacing within the offense itself is really effective. Another thing that you can do out of U-trips that is really good for cover three, cover four, could even be good against cover two, is basically a double streak. So what you would do is you would go to slot out. You're going to streak your slot receiver. And then I would drag the tight end blocked running back like this. And then you're just going to snap him right before he sets his feet. And you'll see how you can just kind of throw this to the outside because of the way zone plays in this game. It's really hard for them to actually defend that. And then if, let's say, they run like cover two on that side, if they run cover two on that side and you run this play, then you're going to either hit your slot streak or you can hit your tight end tight end coming across the middle of the field so that's one of my favorite ways to use uh, slot out you also have this kind of unique post and slot out that is kind of cool um, if they are running like a cover two coverage this fade route can sometimes be thrown to the left side there um, and there you kind of see what I was doing so essentially what happens is when you run this when you run this glitchy fade route to the short side of the field, this is really good. Um, so basically you'll see the deep half is going to go to the tight end and then you can just really you got to really throw it to the left side. But if you bullet bullet it and free form it to the left, you can basically one play cover two really easily. So. These are some of my favorite ways to attack a lot of different coverages in this game. And I think U-Trips is just kind of a unique offense that is actually a pretty good off-meta offense. I think there's been a couple people that have made live events this year uh, running this offense. There's obviously a lot more to this, uh, but in general, this is kind of how I like to run U-Trips. Uh, These short posts are just money. 
Um, of course, I say that and he gets bagged, but he's not on the actual short post that I like. The short post that I like personally is this one out of Titan Whip and Y Option Wheel. So just a combo like this I think is really good out of U-Trips this year. Something like this right here. You're able to have good pass protection, and then you just have an amazing spacing where you can just essentially high-low, high-low, high-low all over the middle of the field. And so I think that's this is one of the reasons why U-Trips is as good as it is. And then you'll see here, look at this sharp cutting post, just quick man coverage. So one of my favorite favorite routes in the entire game. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you guys want to check out any more of my offensive or defensive ebooks for Madden or college football, make sure that you sign up for our school community. The link to sign up is in the description below.